Hey guys, Ted our Marine here with another Separ Sundays today talking about a Marine Private First Class Ronald L. Coker. He was a rifleman with 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marines, under the 3rd Marine Division, uh, and he served in Vietnam. His citation reads as follows. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty while serving as a rifleman with Company M, 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marines, 3rd Marine Division, in actions against enemy forces in the Republic of Vietnam. On March 24th, 1969, while serving as a point man for 2nd Platoon, Private First Class Coker was leading his patrol when he encountered five enemy soldiers on a narrow jungle trail. Reacting instantly, he warned the Marines following him and wounded one of the enemy soldiers with his M16 rifle. When the enemy retreated, Private First Class Coker's squad aggressively pursued them to a cave. As the squad neared the cave, it came under intense hostile fire, seriously wounding one Marine and forcing the others to take cover. Observing the wounded man lying exposed to continuous enemy fire, Private First Class Coker disregarded his own safety and moved across the fire-swept terrain towards his companion. Although wounded by small arm by enemy small arms fire, he ignored his injury and resolutely continued to crawl across the hazardous area and then skillfully threw a hand grenade into the enemy positions, suppressing the hostile fire sufficiently to enable him to reach the wounded man. As he began to drag his injured comrade out of the enemy's killing zone, a hostile grenade landed on the wounded Marine. Unhesitatingly, Private First Class Coker grabbed the grenade with both hands and turned away from his wounded companion, but before he could dispose of the grenade, it exploded. It exploded. Severely wounded but undaunted, he refused to abandon his comrade. As he moved towards friendly lines, two more grenades exploded near him, inflicting still further injuries. Possessed only with the safety, possessed only with the safety of his comrade, Private First Class Coker, with supreme effort, continued to attempt to crawl and pulled the wounded Marine with him. His heroic deeds inspired inspired his fellow Marines to such aggressive action that the North Korean enemy, North Vietnamese fire was suppressed sufficiently to enable others to reach him and carry him to a relatively safe area where he later succumbed to his extensive wounds. Private First Class Coker's indomitable courage, inspiring initiative, and selfless devotion to duty upheld the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. He gallantly gave his life for his country. Is there any other way to say badass? This dude, his friend, got shot in front of him. And he went up and he started, while he was going up to try to help his friend, he gets shot. And during that, he ends up grabbing one grenade and having the explosion severely wound him. And while he continued to pull his buddy away, two more grenades explode fucking near him. Just I can't even imagine the amount of pain this guy was in. And yet he still... With that, continued to drag his wounded buddy back to safety. And the other Marines, seeing the fucking huge-ass balls on this guy, fucking stepped up, suppressed the enemy, and then were able to get him and the guy out of there. And sadly, this Marine died, prior first class coker, but the amount of courage that he, he possessed in doing this just is absolutely amazing. Absolutely incredible. I mean, what else What else can you really say? All right, guys, if you have any questions or concerns, comments, hit me up, and I will see you in the next one. Simplify.